Hello, Paula and team. This is Sandra Boyette in Hamilton, Alabama. I am so happy to be doing this. Today, we're going to take an American classic and take it just a little south of the border. We're going to be making a creamy chorizo mac and cheese, and that's with Philadelphia cream cheese. So let's get started with our dish. All right, we've moved over to the stove, and what I've got going here is some chorizo. It's a 10-ounce pack of chorizo, and I'm rendering the fat out of it. And we're just going to let that continue to render as we cook up here. And in this uh, pan, I have some butter, about three tablespoons of butter, and a tablespoon of garlic. And uh, I've got a large pan. It looks large for this amount of stuff, but I'm going to be adding a lot of things to it. We're going to be making a bechamel sauce uh, in this pan. So I've got the butter and the garlic, and it's browning it up. And don't let your garlic get too brown because it'll get a bitter taste if you burn it. Also, on this back burner, I've got uh, water that's waiting on me. When I do mac of any kind, I always have my water waiting on me, and I leave it on simmer until I get ready to pour my noodles in. And so that's just about two quarts of water, some salt, and some olive oil. So we're just going to get back to this, and we've got our bechamel sauce going. And, you know, bechamel sauce is used for so many things, like Alfredo, and it's a basic base for mac and cheese. And so now I'm going to add a little bit of flour, and that's going to be a thickening agent for us. And I'm just going to stir this flour in just to kind of take the uh, flour taste off of it, you know, so it'll get a nice garlicky flavor. Now, normally I put more than a tablespoon of uh, garlic, but the chorizo itself has garlic and chili in it, so it gives it a great flavor, and it's going to add so much color to it. So now our, our flour, you should do this about a minute or so on like medium heat. And to this, I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream. You can hear the sizzle. And I'm going to stir that in. We're going to keep this going. So it starts to thicken. And then I'm going to take my mac and go ahead and put that in. I'm just going to dump that in. When it comes back up to a boil again, we're going to give it a good stir. Turn that up on high. We give it one little squish right now. Now I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees. And in the individual uh, dishes that I'm going to bake this in, it'll take about 30 minutes for it to get bubbly. Because remember, all of our ingredients are already cooked. The noodles are cooked. And I'm using a small shell so it'll kind of hang on to the cheese and the meat. And it just, every bite will be filled with luscious flavors. Now, this is... A dish that many children like is mac and cheese and you can try and see if they like the uh, spiciness of the chorizo and I guarantee you they will. Now this is our main ingredient here that we're going to put in and this is our Philadelphia cream cheese and we're going to put this in our dish and we're going to let that begin to melt. We're going to keep whisking it to all the ingredients come together. I also have about a cup, cup and a half of white American cheese and I use white American because I really like the creaminess of it and so it'll, it'll really melt and do very well. I'm also adding a little bit of chopped jalapeno peppers and then I'm going to render the fat off of that. I'm going to add my uh, chorizo to this in just a moment, but I'm going to let the cheese melt first. All right, we've got this going. I think I can bring the heat up just a little bit. See if my noodles need to be stirred some. Oh yeah, they're boiling great. So I'm going to take the lid off. Going to place the lid right over there. We're going to let those go. And just look at your package insert about your the kind of noodles that you're using because some cook longer than others. These are small, so they're only going to take about seven minutes to get to an al dente state. And that's what we want because we're going to finish baking them off in the oven. So we're going to continue to thicken this. I'm going to drain off my chorizo, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it all comes together in this pan. Now this is our bechamel sauce. It's all cheesy with Philadelphia cream cheese and American white cheese and chorizo that's been rendered of the fat and it's melted and everything's incorporated. And what we're going to do now is pour it on our noodles. Now I drained my noodles but I did not rinse the noodles because I want all the sauce to be able to stick to them. And they're a little bit more sticky. They've got that starch on the outside and it'll stick to the sauce a little bit better. So I'm going to stir this up. And we're going to put this in individual ramekins. We're going to serve this for dinner tonight with a little toasted bread and maybe a margarita. So let's see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. So here we have our creamy chorizo mac and cheese. And as you can see, I've topped it with some jalapeno peppers. 
uh, a little bit of cilantro. I've got our toasted bread here next to it on the side to complete our meal. This is a one dish meal and all you have to do is skip the drive through and prepare this for your family tonight and they're going to love it. I've got it coupled with a little flan, a margarita, and it's a delicious, easy meal and I think it's something that you'll really enjoy. I've had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoy the recipe and as usual, find something that you love and share it with someone.